In this video today, we're going to explore how video can increase your engagement and conversions for your business. In this digital age, video has become a vital tool for companies to captivate their audience and drive meaningful action. Let's skip the introduction because I'm sure you already know that. The first thing is that video offers a unique opportunity to tell compelling stories that resonate with your audience. By combining visuals, audios, and emotions, business can create an immersive experience that captures attention and drives engagement. This is because we are engaging more senses in the process of delivering a video compared to let's say only a visual page or maybe an audio like podcast. So whether it is showcasing your brand journey or highlighting your customer success stories, video allows you to connect with your viewers on a deeper level. Now, once you are able to do this properly, the second thing is that it's ability to enhance engagement. Now, I know we talked about engagement prior, not only by being able to leverage platforms like YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, other social media platforms, or even your own website and landing page, businesses can leverage a lot of different types of video content to whether attract, educate, or even entertain their audience. Some of the examples will be other product demos, maybe tutorials, or even behind the scenes glimpse. Third one, video plays crucial role in boosting conversion for businesses. According to studies, including a video on landing page can increase conversions by up to 86%. Now, I know a lot of people don't believe this. They'll be like, wait, What's the difference if I just put a picture, let's say, in my landing page compared to if I change a video? How come it be 86%? I don't trust you. Well, you can see all of this research. In a sense, video allows you to showcase your product or your service in action, addressing the pain points and demonstrate its value directly in front of the customers. This is especially true if you're providing a product or service that requires a certain degree of education and the prior communication with your audience first. I know that's a very mouthful statement, but just for example, if you're thinking about maybe installing a charger for your electric vehicle, the first thing that you probably will do is search on Google on how can you install that properly. And I'm guessing that after you do that, you probably will start upon a few videos or a few content like blogs that pretty much walk you through the process of installing your EV chargers. Now, after you spend maybe about an hour searching of this content, you probably will feel paralysis by analysis, which means that you are sick of it and you just don't want to search about it anymore. You just don't care anymore. Now, I'll wager that the next thing you do will contact one of those electricians to help you install your charger. Who would you trust more? Someone who actually understand the process of it and being able to demonstrate their expertise or maybe someone who, yes, it looks like they can, but you're not so sure because they don't demonstrate anything to you. The answer obvious, is it not? Additionally, incorporating a clear call to action within your videos can drive viewers to take your desired action, the action that you desire your customers to take, whether it's making a purchase, which is the obvious one, or even not so obvious like signing up to a newsletter or maybe just simply contacting your business. Because remember, a CTA or call to action, usually it's a next step that your customer or your audience has to take. And the next step that your customer has to take does not always mean buying the product. Fourth, to maximize your impact of the videos, it's essential to optimize them effectively. Start by understanding your target audience and tailoring your content to their preferences. Keep your videos concise, engaging, and visually appealing. Optimize your video title, description, and also text to improve your search engine visibility. Now, I do have to say like this is probably one of the more complex part, especially if you don't understand too much, but it's okay. You can take this one step at a time and worry about this a little bit later. One thing that you do need to pay attention though is to make sure your videos are mobile friendly. As mobile users account for significant portion of online viewerships. Now, this doesn't mean you always have to make a vertical 9 by 16 video it could be like a simple like this a 16 by 9 if I'm not mistaken but you get what I mean there depending on the purpose that you want sometimes a vertical video if they're using a phone and watching like a real sort TikTok especially if you're posting it on Reels or TikTok, definitely make more sense. And remember, video marketing is still a form of marketing, which means that you still need to understand a lot more than just a content or what content to make. A lot of this will be experimental. So again, don't be afraid if you don't see any significant results in the short term. The key to focus here is that you need to come up with multiple hypotheses and experiment to see whether your assumption is true or false and then move on. For example, when I start my Instagram account, I assume that any reels that is less than 25 seconds will do well and do better than any reels that is over 25 seconds. Now, after I have this hypothesis, I will test. So I will have seven videos that is under 25 seconds and seven videos that is 
over 25 seconds. Now, of course, the topic and all of this does matter, but at least from this alone, I can have a feel on which one is better performing. And I can definitely improve upon that. Now, to gauge the effectiveness of your video marketing efforts, it is crucial to measure key metrics such as views, engagements, and even conversions. Platforms like YouTube and other social media does provide their own analytics tools and that can help you to track these metrics and gain insights into your audience preferences. Make sure that you reflect and use this data to refine your video strategy, identify any areas of improvements, and create even more impactful content in the future. Future. And also, don't forget the end goal of you creating your content. If you are doing videos to sell something or if you are doing videos to, let's say, position your brand, you should expect a very different results or should I say an input reaction, which are just those metrics we talk about because you put an input and you get the reactions out. 